Weeping, oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always prepping, oh my God. Can I just start by saying I'm in love with this new patch? This is my first game on, but I was playing in private match, and oh, just collaterals, they make me so happy. I'm hoping they fix the spawns on downpour, because they've been booty for the past couple months, but I'm hoping now they're better and they're back to the original. I don't know if anybody else feels this, but do you feel like sniping is smoother? Oh, I was playing in private, and I just felt like my shot, my multis were smoother. So a couple days ago, I was at the gym, you know, as always, I'm always at the gym. Why is it my luck that the first game on, we're getting freaking spawn trap? Oh, and sorry if I sound a little bad, kind of squirreling here. Here, but I have a congested nose. I've just been sick the past couple days. So sorry about that But so I was at the gym and usually I have a pair of shorts packed in my bag to change into after school And I kind of forgot them last Friday I'm sitting here playing with a knife in between lobbies. I really shouldn't be trusted with it So I was looking through my bag and all I had was an old pair of sweatpants I was like, oh, okay, I'll just wear these. It's no big deal Which I honestly hate working out in sweatpants, but I'm like, you know, whatever. It's better than working out in school Oh my gosh, the clip. Oh I'm so scared. I I did I just hit a I could have had a quad feed. I spazzed the crap out. Goodness gracious. I'm getting back to that exact spot. But so I was back and by, so I was deadlifting in sweatpants, doing curls. I was just walking around the gym. And I just looked in the mirror next to me as I was walking by. And you know those things you can like put your face or your hand against and the imprint comes through to the other side? Which not to mention, I was thinking about that a couple days ago. I used one. I'm like, you realize how many germs are on these? Like, I'm not a germaphobe at all, but it was like at a public museum. And I'm like, man, kids must be pressing this every day with their freaking booger face. Ugh. That's what my freaking dong looked like on my sweatpants. You can see the mahogany monster, sir sort of skyscraper, wumbo wood, doctor. Well, I think you know where I'm going with that one. Man, the rest of the gym, I just had my hands in my pocket. I was walking around. You know, of course, it had to be back in my day, so a lot of things were standing. I freaking felt nude. Felt like a Playboy model out on the Vegas Strip. And I got really nervous. I thought people kept, like, looking at me, and they probably weren't even looking my way. It was just me thinking, they're looking at me. Oh, that was so bad. I actually got another story for you guys, too. So you're getting two stories in one video, man. Aren't you lucky? So on my Instagram, I have, like, in the profile the names of the two colleges I'm considering going to. So a couple days ago i get a message from a girl and she apparently saw that the college i was going to like she lived by there so she's like hey you should go to that college with a winky face Split quad, come on now. And I thought that was kind of weird because I've never met this girl before. She was just following me and she lived in like West Lafayette. But I'm like, you know, I'm very friendly. I just talk to people to try to be nice. So I started responding. And she was kind of flirting, but I mean, I was not attracted to her in the least bit. I was just trying to be friendly. So I kept talking to her for a few days and she kept responding, you know, kind of being flirty. But I was like, whatever, I'll just kind of friend zone her. I now rip the friend zone. Gosh, spawns are so much better. Oh, quad! That's the only multi I'll ever hit. Woo! She was asking me just questions and I was responding and asking her stuff and she's like, so what do you like to do? I was like, you know, I like soccer, swimming, hanging out with friends, going to the movies, fishing, hunting. And she said, wait, but hunting's killing animals. Right there. Nope, nope. You see me repping it right now. Like I'm wearing camo. I, I was done. I don't care if you're vegetarian or vegan for whatever. Go for it. That's not me. I'm hunting. It's not like I'm some psychomaniac who thinks it's funny to kill animals. Ooh, 37 and 22 we getting in here. Honestly, hunting has taught me how to respect nature more than anything else. Maybe as much as like when I was Cub Scouts when I did that, but just as much as that. I think one of the things that comes across is that hunters just like destroying animals in nature we respect it. There's very strict guidelines on it, especially in Illinois where I live. There's very strict guidelines. But anyway, moving on from the hunting thing. After that, I'm like, no, I'm not even going to try because I know no matter what I say, it's going to come back to that me killing animals. I'm not dealing with it. So, you know, I just stopped responding. This woman has messaged me six times without me responding and will not stop. And realize it's been about 24 hours since I stopped. Why, why did I go like this? Is that backwards for you guys? Freaking flip camera screws me up. Or maybe that was backwards. I don't even know. You get what I mean. It's only been about 24 hours since I stopped responding. Even less, actually. And she's already messaged me six times. I just killed myself with a grenade! Ladies and gentlemen, just a little lesson. About two times, that's when you know you should probably stop. If you hit three, then yeah, you definitely need to stop responding. They don't want to talk to you. You know, maybe it was like three times over a couple months, I'd understand. But it's six times in one day. She sees it, it just says red and no response. I don't know what she thinks. Like, I'm trying to do it in the nicest way possible because I know if I start talking to her, she's going to yell at me for hunting. You know, I just try to be nice. I was nice. I messaged her back, even though I've never met 
this girl. And she just, oh, why do I always find the crazy ones? I swear I am a freaking magnet to crazy women. But that's just a story for another time. Just thinking about it makes me cringe. Also really close to getting the assassin kit. I need like 600, 500 more salvage. I can't wait. It's going to be dope. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching and supporting. Last video, make sure to like this video. Sorry about the every other day thing. I'm trying to figure out and see if that works better. But I hope you guys all enjoyed it again. Make sure to check out my links in the description below and YouTube. We'll see you later. Everything you touch, turn to gold.